How are you going? Daniel Rudder here from uh, Daniel Rudder Films, and today I'm going to review the Fusion 35mm f1.7, or something simply known as the Fusion 35. Uh, I bought this lens about six months ago, and uh, I did a quick review of it back then when I bought it, uh, along with a microphone that I also bought at the time, and I didn't have a whole lot of footage that showed it in the real world as I was using it. It was just some stuff I'd run around the house and filmed and then chucked together for a review. Well, in this, for this one, this is a bit different. Now, um, the F Fusion 35mm lens is a CCTV lens, uh, a C-mount lens designed for CCT CCTV cameras that have that mount. This 35mm lens works perfectly on the GH2. Uh, it works fine on the GH1 as well. Uh, you don't need the crop mode for this lens whatsoever, so it will work on both cameras. I do believe they can be adapted to the Sony NEX systems, uh, and they work quite well as well. Uh, as for Canon and Nikon, I cannot personally vouch for that, but uh, Google's your friend there. The, the Fusion 35 lens has a wide aperture equal to that of about 1.7, which is plenty wide and gives you a really nice uh, creamy bokeh that seems very unique uh, in this case. Uh, on the GH2, if you factor in that the sensor is not a 35mm sensor, such as what you'd find on the 5D and the Nikon D800 and a few others, uh, so you, if you factor in the crop factor of the sensor, it's roughly 70 mils or 70 millimeters, and um, that's still pretty usable. Uh, if, especially if you compare that to, say, the tele end of the kit 1442 lens that comes with the GH2, which roughly equates to about 80 millimeters. So you've got an extra 10 millimeters wider there, and it performs beautifully in, in that sense. I wouldn't use this lens in an outdoor or sunny situation in uh, full daylight, as once you start stopping down the aperture to stop as much light coming into the lens uh, you basically lose that shallow depth of field which is what you want and and also you get a bit of a ghosting kind of thing happening as well like with the crop mode uh, all in all this lens is a welcome addition to any GH2 or Sony NEX owner and um, it should be in your kit bag when you leave for a gig for 30 bucks get it just just grab it. It's thirty dollars. You will not regret spending. Uh, you you will need a fast lens at some point, and this is an ideal starter. Uh, a lot of people say you should always have a fifty millimeter lens. In this case, I would also recommend you have the thirty five, and especially at one point seven, it's beautiful. And compare your, compare that to a Nikon uh, thirty five mil or a Canon FD thirty five mil. You're looking at about between a hundred and 50 to 300 dollars or more for one of them and for what 30 dollars you get a lens that okay can be a little bit soft it's not as sharp as say a Nikon lens but it's perfect for 30 bucks now in my personal uh, usage I've used it for weddings uh, and it was great for the waltz when I wanted to just isolate the bride and groom and get uh, close-ups of them smiling at each other and and grinning like loons but um, I've also used the macro function although not as much I used it in a specific uh, shot I needed for a web series um, I definitely recommend you get this lens especially if you're shooting films short films or whatever because if you need a certain look to a particular shot this lens will give you that kind of look, especially if you want that soft, dreamy look. You, you sh can shine light into this and it bounces around in the lens and it gives a nice purple uh, light streak, not like an anamorphic streak, but it still gives a very nice streak. So this has been the review of the Fusion 35mm lens. I uh, hope you enjoyed the footage you were seeing and hopefully this uh, insight into the lens will give you more reasons to get out there and buy it. Uh, you can find it on eBay. In fact, 
I'll just uh, put links in, in the description and that can be where you will more, more than likely find it. So thanks for watching my review of the Fusion 35mm f1.7 CCTV lens. Uh, if you like what you see, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you really want to see other stuff that I've done, check out danielrudderfilms.com. Plugging for the win. Special shout out to the Frugal Filmmaker Facebook group who inspire me to do these little reviews. Have a good one.